Right. Well, I don't think that's too bad. I think a course of antibiotics should clear that up within about a week. Well, yes, you see, I'm very sensitive, Doctor. I have to be very careful what I put in my mail. <laughs> right. How's your mother, Derek? Are you still living at home? She's very well, thank you, Doctor, and, yes, I'm still there. Couldn't leave her on her own, not at her age, dear. Uh, oh, Derek, um, I've saved you one of these leaflets. The, um, the surgery's starting a new gay men's health clinic on the first Monday of every month. I don't know if that's something that would interest you. I beg pardon? It's a new health clinic on Mondays. Yes, I heard that bit. For gay men. I beg your pardon. How very day. <laughs> Never been so insulted. Derek, everything said here is completely confidential. What on earth are you insinuating? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Derek. I, I didn't mean to speak out of turn. I, I just always assumed you were gay. Gay, do who do me, do no do. <laughs> just because I live with my mother and haven't found the right girl yet, you assume I take it up the Aris. <laughs> How very day. I apologise unreservedly. Well, yes, I think you should. 25 years I've been coming here and then you suddenly come out with this. Well, I find you impertinent. Gay men's health clinic. How very day. <laughs> Derek, you're, um... It's a gentleman's sponge bag. <laughs> Come on, Leonard, we're off. <laughs>